chemotherapy. Two or three days before your treatment, you will see a nurse. They will talk to you about the treatment you will have. You can ask questions. On the day of your treatment, go to reception and tell the receptionist your name and date of birth. They'll put a wristband on you and give you a swab. The swab is for later, don't open it yet. Sit in the waiting area, you might have to wait a long time. You can help yourself to a drink and watch TV while you wait. The nurse will call your name when your treatment is ready. They will take you to another room. The swab is like a big cotton bud. You need to put it up each side of your nose and give it back to the nurses. The nurse will rest your hand on a pillow and put a strap around the top of your arm. They'll put a needle in your hand or your forearm. It might feel a little uncomfortable. They take the needle out and leave a small thin tube in your hand or arm. This is called a cannula. They will put tape on it to keep it in place. The nurses will give you some medicines through the cannula. These help to stop the chemotherapy making you feel poorly. The tube is then attached to a machine that slowly pumps the chemotherapy medicine into your body. It takes a long time, sometimes several hours. You should sit and relax. You can bring music to listen to or a book to read. Some people bring a friend to keep them company. If you need to get up, the machines are on wheels and can move with you. Sometimes the nurses need to measure how much we you do during the treatment. Ladies might have to use a bedpan. Men might have to wee into a bottle. After your treatment, you can usually go straight home. Sometimes the nurses ask you to stay a little longer so they can check you are okay before you go. The nurses will give you a number to ring if the treatment makes you feel poorly. The nurses give you some medicines if you feel sick or have an upset tummy. Some chemotherapy will make your hair fall out. It does not happen to everyone. It depends on the type of chemotherapy you have. If it does happen to you, the hair doesn't all fall out at once. You will get a voucher to get a wig if you want one. You will be given a card to carry with you at all times in case of emergencies. It tells people that you are having chemotherapy. Sometimes the nurses might ask you to stay in the hospital 